family to feed it. So let's get into this tea. Hey, y'all, I got my uh my Barry White on, okay? And I know I don't sound like a man, but I'm just, I'm whispering. Uh, my little nephew sleep, and I'm at my sister's house, so I don't want to be rude. Um, but we about to get into the video of Krishan's videographer, photographer, whatever. Uh, he been putting out her content apparently that he filmed, and she is a legend to sue him. Uh, because of that, and he is a legend that she didn't pay him. I want y'all to know, with YouTube, it happens. Times things are good, things are bad. Either way, I react to all of it. Okay, so that's what we about to get into. Um, I don't know, but what happened? What we about to see, and can y'all see? And can't. There we are. There we are. Get it. I am making this video on the behalf of Krishan Rock. She played me. Disrespect me. Fuck Marcel, Uncle. Fuck all them niggas. Damn. She had me come all the way to LA. Can y'all see? I left everything behind in Vegas. I came to LA to come work with her. It's Marcel. Book my second. Your trip is booked. She was also talking about me behind my back, and I didn't know until I, you know, went over the footage. Fuck Marcel, uncle. Fuck all them niggas. Come home. But we don't care about Marcel either. You keep asking me to do shit. I'm like, bro, can you just shut up and record? I just want to make sure we're not losing light and we get it. It's, why didn't you look at the time? Didn't we take five minutes? It's like myself all over again. You know, I felt played and I felt very disrespected when I was out there. I was getting footage every day, filming, editing. I would stay up until 8 a.m. working. Minute. Ah, damn. <laughs> I would stay up until 8 a.m. working. Sale. Stay in control. I'm tired of this. It's been like this my whole life. F is always out to get me, speaking on me, saying shit. Just close your mouth. Nope. Oh. You're doing great. Just do you. Who cares what everyone else says? Sorry if you felt bullied as well. That was never my intention. But I feel like I don't get no type of respect and I'm doing nothing. You've been mean to me. I feel like Kushan don't even want. I feel pointless. You're not useless. I feel you. I be feeling like that. We have to invest into mics to have better quality, better audio. I don't want us putting anything out there. I want to be able to produce the best work for us. Love this shit. We have to invest into some hundred to three hundred dollar mics, um, for better quality. Oh, a hundred. I was about to say this mic, a hundred dollars. Uh, uh, I really put my all into my work and take it serious. I know I miss church. I stayed up late as f editing. I take this ish serious. Can't be putting anything out there for you. I had to stay hella late because I had to fix a lot of ish because someone else was filming and barely wanted to help me edit and didn't know what they was doing. But that's my fault. Uh, she will talk to me any kind of way, tell me to shut the F up. Can we get an intro? Can you just shut up? <laughs> I'm so sorry. I'm like, damn. It's like, that's why I needed bro to record. Because I don't want to explain myself to you. You're not listening. Okay, okay, all right. I got you. Can you give me the camera? Please, 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 please. I got you. Myself. Can you give me the camera? Or I'm Would you please, 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 and fuck? I'm going to send you back to the other group, bro. All right. <laughs> And I came out there to work. I felt played. She disrespected me by, uh, you know, calling me out of my name, not letting me do my job. Let me smoke my skin, like this side. Right here on this side. Let me go here. Let me help you. Film her. Film X. It. It's not a commercial for it. It's not. You're not getting me, bro. Oh, God. I'm going to do your job for you, bro. I'm going to tell you right now, filming for anybody 
is the worst job in the world. Okay. Because when people think that they know what they are doing and I'm talking about Prashawn in this, in this case right now, thinking she knows what she doing and she don't, the problem is she's paying for a service and she feel like what he's doing ain't enough or whatever. For her. And she's not getting what she, what she wants. This is why I don't do this shit. <laughs> being a videographer photographer any any of that and you don't like you know what you're doing but you <clears throat> you have to communicate and things like that probably one of the worst jobs for some people it was definitely the worst for me no nah, ma'am no you are supposed to be over here bro you're not over nowhere bro you too you too lost in the conversation you don't know how to do your job bro. That's the fuck up and get when i would speak up for myself She's threatening me. She's threatening to send me back home to Vegas, knowing your ass home. I have, you know, really nowhere to go. Um, Come on, this right here. Dude, she, she, this is she treating yourself in the foot right now. Yeah. This is what I'm talking I just about. told him not to do that. that. But she's telling me to film this. No, no, I know, but hold on. That's what I'm trying to do, bro. Let me be a cameraman, bro. I know how to get angles. I want to school. I want to school for this shit, bro. Okay, look. You see this? Take care of Marcel. Don't listen to anybody else. Listen to me. Okay, you see this side? That's another problem, too, when you trying to play all the roles. Like, it don't work like that. She was stressing herself for no reason, to be honest with you. You should have just let that nigga do the job he was paid to do. The logos are lined up. Stop it, nigga, leave. Why you keep asking me to do shit? I'm like, bro, can you just shut up and record? I can't leave that nigga alone for five seconds. I want to say another thing, bro. Nobody is surprised that Krishan is talking to any of y'all. Like, <laughs> I'm not going to lie. If y'all let her talk to y'all like that, that's on y'all. I'm not even gonna lie. Because y'all niggas be grown as hell. It's no way you're gonna talk to me like that and I allow it. So if you go allow a person to talk to you like that, I don't feel bad. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. Y'all steady let, letting her talk to y'all like that. That's what y'all want. You know what I'm saying? The same thing with the King Sid situation. These are grown ass men. He talked to us any kind of way. You let him. The fuck is you talking about? <laughs> You're not talking to me <laughs> like that. She rude as fuck. She rude as fuck, man. The way I would have packed my yeah, I would have been gone. But Krishan shows you that she's gonna talk to you how she wants to talk to you. But not only that, she talks to you the way you allow her to. When you stand on business, she respects it. And that's just how the cookie crumble with her. You know what I'm saying? If you, if you, people treat you the way you allow them to. If you allow somebody to disrespect you, that's what the fuck you get. Period. Stop letting people disrespect you. No, ma'am. Yeah. He's like, can I get an intro? I said, well, give the other nigga the camera. <laughs> <laughs> Mark, nothing going. wrong with asking can I get in. Nothing wrong. Oh, more so. Um, you gotta go home. I don't got That's why I'm trying to help you. We used to be friends way back then, three, four years ago. Uh, oh, damn. Look, guys. I'm leaving school, nigga. I'm fucking tired. The worst shit in the world is when you team up with somebody you used to be down. No cap. That's the worst. Man. I'm gonna just keep I actually got pee. So what? Uh, give me two seconds. Hold on, because what the fuck? Let's see. Hold on, y'all. Jesus Christ, I got a pee, chat. Give me a second, y'all.
I came out there to work. I've been doing videography about five to six years. I learned from the best. Took a couple college classes to learn videography. So I know what I'm doing, working with the camera and editing and things like that. And um, she wouldn't let me do my job. And to bring some type of organization to her campaign or whatever the case may be. Boy, it's especially when it's time to edit. I love the shit. We have the best advice. We already seen. Uh, yo, I really need to invest in some mics to audio. It has to be a lot more important stuff right now. Once it's settled, we can talk. I don't out of some shit like <laughs> Nah, you, you can't talk. To... He was just too submissive. You know, Krishan on it don't respect no damn submission. Girl. Um. Yeah, we already seen. Yes, He's there was. Saying he done sent it to everybody. It was an understanding that I was going to get paid. When I was on the phone with her, she she told me she was going to give me fifty thousand. Cap. <laughs> fifty thousand. <laughs> he just threw out a number. And man. we had another discussion. We had a three-way conference call. With Krishan, my manager, she was going to give him 5K for the footage. And he sent the Zell to her and a payment was never sent. And I also was going to get on payroll, never got on payroll or anything like that. He didn't like your work. Business is business. We should have did a contract for sure. How you got a manager and y'all didn't do a contract? I could do whatever I want or take it down and save yourself up to you never got paid i ain't get paid either and she was literally finna pay you before me but i'm not complaining that's on you gang <laughs> she's contacting me to get the footage every time she'll ask about the footage <laughs> i will ask about the payment send the file simple <clears throat> send the money simple that's how you conduct business you could you could have all the footage and not send bread you got a hidden, a hidden agenda. Send the bread. That's cool. Burn your bridges. You was homeless. Whatever. Send me my money. <laughs> she wants me to send the footage without receiving any kind of payment. And that's not how business works. You know, you send maybe half the payment and then you send half the footage. But she wants me to send uh, a whole week's worth of footage without receiving any kind of payment. So with that being said, you know, she could get all the footage and just say F me and, and not pay me. Her program, there's no structure, you know. I ain't sending no bread without no, uh, I mean, I ain't sending no footage without no bread, but I ain't working without no bread. So you want me to do what? 50,000. Okay, go ahead and send me that deposit. <laughs> and then let me tell y'all something. I told y'all I just got an assistant. Baby, she got to get paid first. Nobody can work for you um, and they feel broke. Not only feel broke, and they are broke. Nobody can work under anyone being broke other than a nine to five. I get it. With a nine to five, you work a week and a whole, two weeks, three weeks, whatever the fuck. But with Working with someone who got bread, bro, pay your people, man. <laughs> that shit's simple and plain. You got to get paid. But first of all, he should have had his paperwork together, period. 
And I, I get it. She your friend. Da da da. Nah, my assistant, my my other. I technically got two assistants when it comes to this YouTube thing and some other shit. Yeah, they get paid. I ask them, you good with that? You good with that, baby? Mm -hmm. I'm going to pay you, baby. Because I don't need you complaining to me about how you ain't got no money. I don't need you feeling like you scared of me for nothing. I don't need you afraid of me about nothing. I need you to be able to buy your own food. I need you to be able to get your own reefer. I need you to be able to get your own casa casa. Okay? I also need you to smoke your reefer. I also need you to have your casa casa. For any event... Of you feeling nervous or whatever. Um, and I'm not about to keep threatening to fire you. However, if you're not doing what I'm asking you to do, I will let you know. Like, hey, gang, nah, <laughs> we're going to have to pick this up. But you got you to gotta let the nigga do his job. And it don't seem like he was able to do so. It's given she was just aggravated with him. She was tired of his ass. I think it was kind of past the job. I think he got out there and just... Gave her a weird energy and she was ready for his ass to go. Um, that's another reason why I don't let people stay with me. You got to have your own place. You got to have your own place. But I know this now at 30 something. They're going to have to learn. It is. So she's, it is. she's not uh, organized. She's but I bad. I went through all this shit. I already went through all this shit. Uh, you know, communicating when it comes to business and how she wants things done. So the reason why I got kicked out of the house was because, you know, she wants a whole bunch of yes mans around her and I was still trying to get used to her new program and, you know, her new environment and her new personality, you know, and I would try to put her to the side and talk to her about, hey, how is your program or, you know, how is things ran here? And I would never get that one on one conversation so I can fit in. You can't fit in. You're not busy, want to shoot a video or something. And it seems he kept hitting her up too. Can we talk for real or you don't want to private or talk in front of everybody? Yeah, you got to be, you got to have a little tougher skin, my boy. Have an understanding. If not, it's cool. I understand. Please talk to me when you feel like it. Come on, bro. Yeah, he got to be a little you tougher. You know, man. so... Every time she speaks up and say something, she just expects you to shut shut up and you know just do whatever she says. I don't want to talk to you no more now. It's like it's irritating and spark. We can't work if you don't know how to just listen. I'm trying to listen. You can't listen and talk at the same time. Now that's true. You can't. But. With him being the, the visualizer, you got to listen to him, too. I'm telling you what. I'm hungry. <laughs> I need, hey, yo, bro. Can you take everything that you're doing Can you put it together with it? Like, you know, when you was cut up in all the So that's what you want? No, you want that? that. So, no. so you want that in there, too? So, so you want that in there too? You, when you was turning up, and she, I was. I don't think she liked that that submission from him. He just uh, he was too timid. What? I need hey, yo, bro. Can you take everything that you did, Phil? Can you put it together, man? Like, you know, when you was cutting up in all that. So that's what you want? No, you want that? Like that. So, so you Can you take everything that y'all did, film? Can you put it together lit? Like, you know, when you was cutting up. Can you take everything that y'all did, film? And can you put it together lit? So that's what you want? No, you want that? that? Why after she said that, you said, so that's what you want? <laughs> That would have pissed me off. Can you put it together lit? And then she gave you an example. So that's like everything. Put everything together. And he says, What you want? You want that? He says, So that's what you want. And then she said, No, for one. That's crazy. I think she just got mad at the fact that the nigga even questioned it. <laughs> 
So, so you want that in there too? So, so you want that in there too? You, when you was. I just, I just told you what I wanted. Turning up. And I would speak up for myself and say, hey, this isn't right or this isn't how things are done when it comes to camera work. She felt like I was being disrespectful to her, but in reality, she was being disrespectful to me because I would speak up for myself and letting her know like, hey, this isn't right. That's the reason why I got kicked out of the house. I was trying to figure out her program, her, uh, you know, her camp, and it's a whole bunch of yes mans around. They don't speak up for themselves. They don't tell- say Krishan don't explain shit correctly on what I be saying. She don't really be knowing. That's why somebody else need to be talking. I'm not gonna lie, she got too much money uh, to not have another delegate. Somebody else needs to delegate all that, but it gotta be somebody who ain't afraid of her. You need a HBIC in charge. Okay? Rashawn, what's my job to direct and what's yours to uh, perform? Girl, go do that. <laughs> Get the fuck out of my face. Like, goddamn. If you want me to handle this job, I'll take care of it. If you don't, I can hit the door. See, it's a lot of people that'll do that. I can hit the door. Well, you could just leave. If a nigga say that they, that they just going to leave, Krishan going to be like, God damn, you just going to leave? <laughs> yeah, nigga. <laughs> what you mean? You got one time to threaten me to leave. I'm, oh, you know what I'm saying? She treats you how you treat yourself respectfully. So with that being said, it's like, all right, listen. I got to handle some shit. Um, Rashawn, you paying me to be your assistant to handle this. So well, that's what the fuck I'm here to do. If you can't handle that, do it yourself. You don't need me. I'm quick to tell a motherfucker, you don't need me. <laughs> you got it. Handle it. You know what I'm saying? But he he can't do that. He's he clearly he's a beta. He is. Tell her, hey, you're wrong. You know, they just let her do whatever. And I'm not the type of person to put up with that. And like I said before, I've been filming for about five, six years. Look at how he's trying to tarnish her name by posting a vid. I agree. Um, I think this is vengeance because he didn't get paid. Um, and Krishan is good with feeling bad intentions, right? She's really good at that. Because um, every time something happens... I ain't gonna lie, she be right. Now, granted, she didn't play the best role in it, but she be right. In, in this situation, him coming out doing this, she ain't wrong. <laughs> so, I sort of know. But, he should have been compensated for something. What I'm doing with, with the camera, you know, I learned from the best. So, basically, it was so hard for me to be myself and to be a cameraman, you know, because... You have one person. I would have paid him 5K for that footage and give me my shit and I'll figure out the rest. But I'm going to pay you to get you the fuck on. I will pay some. Listen, if even if I fire you, like if you're my assistant and I fire you, you're fired with pay. You will never say I left you on your ass. Ever. Fuck that. And telling me to do this and then I'm doing this. And then next thing you know, Krishan comes in and say, no, do it this way. I want things done this way and et cetera. You know, I came out there to be a cameraman, you know, and I couldn't do my job because she wants to control everything. And nine times out of 10, she is incorrect when it comes to holding a camera and, you know, filming and, and things like that. You know, I couldn't just be a cameraman. I'm getting, you know, Directions from one person. I'm getting directions from Krishan, and it's a whole bunch of confusion. And he's right on that part. Right here on this side. Let me go here. Let me help you. Film her. Film her. Film it. It's not a commercial for it. No, I don't. It's not. You're not getting me, bro. Oh God, I'm a. I'm a do your job. Film for you. Bro. Film her. Film it. It's not a commercial for it. No, I don't. It's not. You're not getting me, bro. Oh God, I'm a. I'm gonna do your job for you, bro. And that's where the disorganization is coming in in her camp. Her stylists were styling her, and. 
You know, she disrespected her stylist. Can you make it tight as my leg? Like, can you? And you act like you can't see. See what I'm saying? She's very disrespectful and she treats people like she's above everyone because she treats people the way you allow her to treat you. Everybody treats you the way you allow them to treat. Y'all want to be over there and be mess yes man and mm -hmm, yes sir boss. Well, that's how the hell you're going to get treated. I used to feel bad for people like this, but I don't. Y'all niggas is grown, bro. I ain't going to lie. Today my mama said, um, when people don't know, they don't know. He said that. And I took heed to it because I feel like people be knowing. I said, um, I, I feel like people be knowing what the fuck they be doing. That's one of my mottos. You know what the fuck you was doing. Okay. But she said, people don't know. If, if you don't know, you don't know. But you're going to learn from it. So in this situation, I'm sure he learned a lesson. You know what I'm saying? Um, and yeah. Uh, I'm not about to be around you and you, bitch. <laughs> she has a little bit of money, fame. You I know. hate when people say this shit. People act a certain way because they got a little bit of money and a little bit of fame. I feel like people be threatened from that, threatened by that in the beginning. He knew going into this he didn't really have no money. Like, So you definitely should have put a contract in place. And he probably felt as though if he did, he would have lost. He would have took an L. But... If you don't stand on that, it's not an L. You know what I'm saying? That's actually a W because it could have saved you from all this shit. So, <clears throat> I just, I think that's crazy that he has a manager and that manager didn't say, we need such and such amount to come out there, period. You need that amount to get the mics that you need. Rashawn don't know nothing about no mics. <laughs> You don't even know what you're talking about. You know what I'm saying? So I need to be paid 5000 to come out there and handle such and such. And maybe Krishan might have been like, I feel like he clout chasing or whatever the fuck. Ooh, I'm not coming. You know what I'm saying? In my price, I used to have what it is that I needed to, to film what it is that needed to be filmed. You know what I'm saying? But this did come with knowledge. I dealt with a lot of shit, though. I dealt with a lot. Oh, clout. And she thinks she's above everyone, you know? In my eyes, everybody's equal. I don't care about how much money you have and who you are, you know? Treat everyone as equal, you know? Treat people how you want to be treated. And that's what she was not doing. The reason why I'm releasing the footage on my channel because I have 100% ownership to the footage because it was done on my camera. I edited and I haven't got paid. It was just bad business. And, you know, I have 100% ownership to the footage because, like I said, I haven't received any form of payment regarding the work that I put in. But well, that's true. You must be trying to go to jail, posting content in someone's home without their permission and harboring intellectual property. There's no contract written up. No money was sent. It was my time. There it is. Uh, business is business. We should have did a contract. I could do whatever I want. I ain't gonna lie. You should have did a contract, my boy. Uh, or take it down and save yourself up to you. Never got paid. I ain't get paid either. She was literally finna pay you before me. So I'm not complaining. Girl. Since I started uploading the footage, she's threatening my YouTube channel, she's threatening to take me to court and she's trying to sabotage. You are absolutely right. On his end, this is bad business as well. Neither one of them did business correctly, but he can't act like she's the worst business partner in the world because he's just as bad. No cap. Camera work and the things that I worked hard for, you know, and that was the whole main reason for me coming to LA, which was to film her and you know film her reality tv show or vlog or whatever the case may be so that's the whole main reason why i came out there which was to work and to get footage all right let me see what videos he done upload the shoot went
left a little bit, but we still got the camera in it. It's really great. The setup is great. The lighting is great. Yeah, the, It's just like certain people keep underlining what I have to say, so when I speak up, I come off rude or weird, or I don't know. Like, I'm slow or something. It's hitting my fucking nerves. I don't like working with people like that. Like, why are these y'all... Do you remember that video of Nikki? Do y'all know y'all jobs? All great things come with time. Exactly. When you rush shit, that's when you fuck shit up. Honestly, I shoot really fast too. Like once I start going, I'm going. So like we could be done. You don't like my hair and everything. I just did a shoot yesterday. It didn't take long. So Keith, what's with your hair? Long was my hair and my fucking makeup. Huh? So she, the the woman that's coming now, did your hair last time? Mm -hmm. Oh nice. She can. He said I filmed and edited this like. He did like some editing, you know what I mean? It's better, it's her hair. She better figure it out. Figure her hair out. Why she said it was better? It's fine. How much your hair is way... Oh, hey, man. What? What? Now you're not scared. What? Well, fuck Marcel Uncle. Fuck all them niggas. Come on. Like, what the hell? Okay, Marsh, but we don't care about Marcel either. Was holding his camera. I know we don't care about the uncle. We don't care about the. I know the confirmation, but we don't care about what possibly could be better. Ask God what He wants you to do with that type of opportunity. Think bigger. You're Bing thinking bong. tiny. It's kind of getting on my nerves. Like we don't have a little house, so Take think bigger than house. Okay. <laughs> You gotta learn how to think big. You gotta think big, you know? Because you're talking to a nigga that's talking to a trap. Yeah. With perks in his body. We're trying to do shit the right way. From here on out, and Mark over there. I got a house with my name. I didn't get a house by somebody else's name and somebody else's credit. So, like, it's like that. Like, we don't gotta do janky ass shit. Right. That's janky as shit. Mm -hmm. Moving backwards. Mm -hmm. Do those chains look janky? Yeah. Stop moving backwards. What's the with you? No, I keep asking. Like, I want to get this. I want to make He's this cool. shit right. Okay. It's right. The only thing that's not right is that. Okay, so I'm not about to react to that whole thing. Um. <sighs> what I'm gonna say is though, um, like I understand they got a lot of learning to do. That's just on it, and they will. Uh, I learned everything and. The time and here we are. <laughs> um, both of them clearly did bad business. He can't act as if Krishan did the worst business because um, his was just as bad. You shouldn't have never went out there to L.A. without uh, having a proper place to stay. And if you knew you was going to stay with her, um, you should have definitely made sure you had money in the event of you had leave or whatever when you are young you take opportunities and it is nothing I can do to say don't do that shit because <laughs> you're gonna do it anyway um but you have to learn lessons like that so he had to learn that lesson I bet you now I hope now he'll get a contract uh I hope now he realized you can't just do stuff for friends for free uh, or she throw out an outlandish number and then you like, oh, I bet. You know what I'm saying? I hope he learned that. Um, and yeah, man, mixing business with pleasure is just never good, bro. But that's something I had to learn and I'm glad that I did. And he'll be all right. That's all I got. Uh, we've heard Krishan speak to Marsh. We've heard Krishan speak to Jay. We've heard how Krishan speaks everybody and baby she gonna say what she what she feel how she however she want to say she been doing it i ain't seen nothing change yet so 
him thinking he's exposing Rashawn being this <laughs> terrible human being, bro, we already know. <laughs> we already know she's going to speak that way is what I mean. We already know she's going to speak that way. Um, So it kind of is what it is. Uh, People got to stop allowing it. If if you feel some type of way, get on, period. So, yeah, that's kind of it, what I got. Um, everybody ain't work withable, but you learn that in your 20s. We just going to keep watching. Y'all let me know what y'all think down in the comment section below. I'm done with this video. Love y'all. Appreciate y'all. Yeah, yeah.